This is what I wish I knew before I became an eight figure a year self-made woman entrepreneur. First of all, and I think everyone knows this, but it's like things just take time. And sometimes you look at people and you think, oh, they just hit it out of the park and it was just easy for them. And I've even had people tell me that and they have no idea about the backstory, how long things took and how, how it really was nowhere near quick. But I think that you need to understand that when you are on an entrepreneurial journey, especially if you're starting something new, maybe you're leaving your profession, you're going somewhere else, that it is hard. Like things just take 10 times longer than you think. It's 10 times harder than you think. It takes 10 times more energy and more resources and more money than you think. And I don't mean that in a negative way, but you have to understand that good things just take time. And I think it's really hard for us right now in our world, our entrepreneur, our world, right? When we have um, Twitter and we've got our phones and they're constantly dinging and we can literally just push a button and have somebody on the other side of the screen and we can see them and we can order food and it can be delivered in 20 minutes. And we've got Amazon dropping off at our house in 24 hours. Because of all that, we expect things to be quick. And when you are building things that are great, it is really difficult for things to be fast. It just takes time. And you have to know that going in so that you get the stamina because especially when you're starting a new business or you're starting a new journey, it's like you're excited at first and you're so ready to go and you have all this energy and you're just like, I can conquer the world. And then things come in the way and you roadblocks and barriers and it's very easy to get distracted. So you have to know that it takes time. So prepare for that, right? And then also, Think about, okay, when I start to get discouraged, when things don't go the way that I want, what is my backup plan going to be? How am I going to deal with it? I'll give you an example. I um, have been trying to launch this business. It's called the Million Dollar Month Model. And um, I just thought <laughs> that based upon my experience and how well we've done, you know, we've generated over a million dollars a month, um, month after month after month for gosh, 47 months in a row. And so I thought, well, it's gonna be easy for me to teach this to somebody else. Like I have the team, I have the money, I have the know-how. No, it has been hard. It's been over a, month, a year and a half, right? Um, now mind you, I kind of scaled it and first I made sure I can get people results. And then I went to launch and I realized I had the wrong avatar. My offer wasn't the right offer. I had to completely rechange the offer, the pricing, who the ideal client was, everything. Now, it would have been easy to give up. And I'll tell you, sometimes I still feel like I should give up. Um, I'm at a point right now where I'm like, okay, I'm going to give it six more months. And it might seem like, uh, but it's already been a year and a half. So I'm like, okay, after trying something for two years, if it doesn't work, that's going to be my breaking point, right? Uh, and not that it doesn't work. It's just that it's been hard for me to get in front of the right audience, hard for me to, to scale it the way I wanted it to. So just know that things take time. Also, the second thing I what I think is really important is that typically when you are on, an, especially an entrepreneurial journey, okay, if you were successful at your, at your first thing and then you decided to go to the second thing, it doesn't necessarily mean that's going to be the case. I'll give you an example. I did great as a real estate agent. Kick, knocked it out of the park from, from month one, literally from month one. Same thing when I got into be a, a real estate coach. Like it just did really well, really fast. It took me about 11 months to make a million dollars in, 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 uh, gross, not net. <laughs> like I don't think I made any money that first 11 months, but, and then I quickly scaled this new business for the past 18 months. It's not that way. I'm, I'm making enough just to stay afloat. Right. And there's months where I'm writing checks. So just because you were really good at one thing, doesn't mean it's going to translate to the next thing. And I think that's hard when you're used to winning and you're used to doing well, and you're used to being at the top of your game and being number one in your company or in your, in your profession. And then you try something else and you're like, what the heck is going on? You have to be careful not to take that personal and to know that what got you to where you're at in your first business is not necessarily going to get you to where you are in your second. What got me to seven figures in my first business is not what got me to eight figures in my next. It just wasn't. I had to go on a much larger, much larger scale. Um, and I wish I would have been told that sooner, right? It doesn't mean I'm a failure. It just means it's, it's different. What I also wish I would have known uh, to get to seven and eight figures is that when people talk about work-life balance, it's and you can just bleep that out. I don't like cussing, but it really is bull, right? You have to think about something. When you're, if you're struggling with your marriage, your focus has to go on your marriage. If you're struggling with your health, your focus has to go on your health. If you are building a new business, your focus has to go on your business. There, something has got to give. You can't give equal focus to everything all the time. People that say, have balance, like, come on, like, it's, it's hard to have balance because you focus on what needs the most attention at the right time. 
I remember when I was building my business, I told my family, hey, look, I'm doing this thing right now. I'm starting a new career. Like I'm like, I'm not going to be making dinner every night. And there's going to be times where, you know, I can't give you your undivided attention. If I'm doing a really bad job and I'm neglecting you, tell me and I will fix it. But just know that for the next few months, this is a focus of mine. I need to work really hard on this so that later on I can have more time with you. We can have more, more freedom, more flexibility and just communicate with me. So balance is BS in my opinion. And the last thing, and there's plenty more, but is a strong support system. I think especially as women, we're always asking for permission. Can I do this, right? Especially if it's it's a financial investment or maybe it's just kind of a stretch for the family or partner, whoever it might be. But you need a strong support system. And it starts with your, your significant other, the person that you're closest to, right? And then it also starts with who you hang out with mo most of the time. And if you can afford to, I, it's almost imperative that you have some kind of a mastermind or group that you hang out with, whether it's a paid mastermind or it's a mastermind with other like-minded individuals. I will tell you, having a support system and being able to talk about, I mean, it has been absolutely a game changer in my business from hiring the best of the best coaches and consultants to being around the different people that are in that room. I mean, it is it is created absolute magic in my life like when I say magic I mean it's been magical what I have been able to create based upon just having the right support system being around the right people being able to like you know um talk about things and ask for people's opinions and saying what's working for them or getting their feedback and advice and utilizing things in their business and seeing how can I relate that to my business even though it's a different niche it has been a game changer uh, when you are trying something new, you're building a business, you're trying to build a better body, a better marriage, whatever it might be, you need help. So that's uh, there's a lot more that you need to think about when you are building a business of your dreams or trying to change big things. Um, I wish somebody would have told me that when I was building my seven and eight figure businesses, and I hope it is helpful for you too. So thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments, and I appreciate you, and have a good day.